For Waking Life Magazine's Life News, I'm Joe Tamwe. Afrikaans has officially been scrapped from South African courts as a language. In a statement made last week, Judge Klope said, English must be the official language of record in all courts in the Republic of South Africa. Which begs the question, does this mark the beginning of the end for Afrikaans as a medium within the Republic? As some of you may remember, there was a huge clash between Afrikaans and some English-speaking students over the language policy of the University of Pretoria in 2016, with many Afrikaans people feeling like their heritage was at stake. Last year, activities at the University of Pretoria were suspended regarding clashes over the language policy, with many students feeling like the language policy was kind of unfair, considering the overwhelming majority of students that go to the University of Pretoria are English-speaking. So why would Afrikaans still be deemed as an optional main language, with some lectures occasionally discussing or even answering lectures in Afrikaans to fellow Afrikaans students? If that's not enough, regarding the hair situation that happened at the Victoria High School for girls, on top of feeling like the school was not adhering to their culture and their heritage, the complaint of favoritism over which Afrikaans speaking students were teachers' pets and which weren't was also raised amongst many students. Thus, the question then remains as a colonial language, and with Africans taking back full control of their culture and heritage, should Afrikaans remain as a main language and one of the official languages within the Republic of South Africa? Let us know what you think by hitting us up in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to Waking Life Magazine on YouTube to stay updated on this and the rest of today's stories. For Waking Life Magazine's Life News, I'm Joe Tumway.